Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. In the last episode, we were chased off by all of our friends apparently, and now we are here in the wintry area. Of course, last episode we also took on the legendary Firebird Moltres, and that was quite the experience. What does George have to say about it? It's horribly cold, but let's get over this mountain, Zebra. Let's definitely do that. I don't think I've organized my inventory so we can maybe figure that out. I don't know if I can withdraw things from you. I think so but I've sorted my inventory. I don't really need more than one. Like there's, actually these are different. Geo Pebble, one thrown, it flies in an arc to deal a fixed amount of damage to an enemy, it hits even those in walls. Fixed amount of damage. Okay, so what do you, why, why does it need to be an arc? I guess maybe if they're like in a different projection. I think we're fine with the ones we have. So I'm gonna go and put that away, but I'm not quite done. What is grimy food? Eating this fills your belly a bit, but it will give you a bad status, so be forewarned. I'd rather not have that in general. Three max ethers, probably don't need more than one cherry berry. We have a ton of seeds, so let's get rid of maybe two of those. Uh, training seed, I just don't know if I need that many. Actually, I don't know, maybe I'll keep the seeds. We have a lot of inventory space, so. Get rid of the link box, there we go. So that's a couple of things, so we have 24 out of 48, so we're actually halfway with our inventory space. Zebra, are you ready to roll? As ready as I'm gonna be. Which way should we go, Frosty Forest or Snow Path? Last time we tried going the first or the second way, it ended up just leading us in a circle to get the first way anyways. But honestly, for me, that's just more to experience and to get more experience, so we'll level up more maybe. So we'll just try that again. Um, Snow Path, B1F. So with this one, oh, new Pokemon over there. So I, I at least wanna go and experience these new Pokemon. I don't think we can recruit them just yet because of our current situation. Uh, but we're getting some stuff already. So what is that over there? Is that a, uh, that's a Snorunt. See, we got a little item just over that way. And you're throwing the gravel rock, very good. That's why we have it. So there we go, <laughs> got rid of Furred as well. And some coins, oh, this is what I was hoping for. Running into some opportunities to train some things up, but there's no more enemies left, so will it actually work out that way? Who knows? There are some items waiting for us, though. Got an apple and a uh, Hornberry. Pretty good. So yeah, we didn't really get to level up our moves at all. Well, let's go to B2F. And yeah, we'll just try to make it as far as we can in today's episode. You know, it's like we just ran into Moltres. What are the chances we could run into the other legendary bird so soon? I don't know, that'd be weird. Anyways, go ahead and grab that. And what do we got over here? Oh, hello, Snorunt. Gotcha. A little bit more water pulse, nice. And that seems to, okay, I was gonna say, it seems to be all the enemies, but then another one pops up. I don't know how to get over there as Zebra, though. So I'm just gonna leave it be, unless they show up now. Where did they go? Oh, they're running. Okay, you know what, whatever. We did what we could. We've been spawning in right next to the exits. <laughs> so if we wanted to rush through it, we could, but I'd rather not. Okay, we don't know where the exit is for this one. Oh, get the snow run as soon as we can. And it shows you how high of a level we are. Uh, oh, we got Seed Bomb upgraded. Pretty cool. Uh, but we don't even have a typing advantage from these Pokemon, but we're destroying them very easily. So it shows you that we just, we're well trained at the moment, and that's nice. Oh, you got another one. Those keep showing up right when we don't need them anymore. That's a tiny reviver seed as well. Oh, here, here's an enemy. Are they sleeping? Because they're not moving. Yep, I think this is an Azuril, Azuril? Something like that. One hit takedown, super effective. And we picked up the uh, pretty box. So that's our second one already. So let's go down this way. Yep, yep, thank you. Snowpath B4F. Oh, it looks like there's a shop here. Oh, nice throw. I love this Pokemon, that's so cute. Oh, that missed. They're using Coil. Their stats went up, so we need to take him out real fast if possible. 85 damage, a critical hit. Very good, and I see you down there for it. Boom, gotcha, pretty good. So let's see what the shop has to offer. Uh, welcome, just a lot of basic supplies, I don't really need any of that, but uh, thank you for the offer. Here's our staircase downwards, but look at all of these items. We got that, this, and these two, pretty cool. Hmm. So we got a couple of Pokemon waiting for us. Not bad. Ice, ice, what is that? I don't know what this is, a shard. Okay. Boom. 
Nice, okay, so that's all the enemies taking out for right now. Let's keep moving. Yeah, I took a little bit of damage, but we're healing up over time. And that was it. All right, Super successfully made it through the snow path, and we get a rainbow gummy. Dragon Claw TM, what a move just to get out of that. Very cool, the items you have been sent to storage. Very cool, but we're back in here. Which is exactly what I was expecting. What, isn't this where we started from? I guess that path just loops back to the start. If you wanna move on, I think our only choice is to move the Frosty Forest. I wonder if they're like, what is the point of giving us an option that doesn't really work? I'm guessing it's so that if we wanna train up a little bit or get a good restock on items, because that's what I'm using it for. Anyways, we're getting back to it. Uh, actually, hold on. Yep, I'm ready to roll, and we'll go the actual way to Frosty Forest this time. All right, let's roll on out. It's freezing cold, but let's give it our best. I'm trying. So what'll be going on here in Frosty Forest 1F? There's a Snorunt already waiting for us right at the entrance. Get rid of him. Very cool. So it looks like we could go, whoa, it's very dark in here too. Ow, that hurt. That's a problem, we can't let that continue. This Azuril hasn't noticed us though. Okay, ooh, that got us a legendary box right there, or deluxe box. Oh, there's an enemy behind us. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get them. No, no, no. So you're attacking that guy. But, oh man, the, the darkness makes it so difficult. Luckily, with uh, George's help, we'll get rid of them. I don't like it. <laughs> get rid of you. Because once we're in a room, the light comes back in. It's just through the little corridors that we have to be very, very careful. Here comes another ferret. Gotcha. Because we're still healing up from taking that damage. Uh, we got a foe seal orb, that's a new one, I think. Because sealing means they can't really move until we attack them, I think. Very nice moves. So where exactly is the staircase out of here? I'm going to guess somewhere down this way. Not in that room, a new enemy has showed up. Is it gonna be the last room we check? Hey, you know, as per usual. There it is. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. 2F. So that didn't go bad, but it didn't go perfect. Let's switch over. Oh no, ow! I should've just let, because that's super effective. I guess ice is super effective against grass. That's a tough thing to deal with. Oh, oh, another one. You can get him. Because ice is not very effective against water. Hmm, I think that's what it is. Ready, boom. Hmm. Oh, well, here he is, there we go. Backed up one, sort of put him in a bad position. But that's great for us, using that seed bomb and everything. So with this one, I wouldn't mind just finding the, the, the exit right away. I'm trying to, at the least. There we go, double vine whip is enough to take you out. But this is definitely a whole lot more difficult. What about in here? Nope. What well, makes it even more difficult to survive, like I said before, we can't recruit any friends in this anymore because of the fact that I guess they wouldn't have a camp to go back to anyways. Hmm. So let's get, yeah, that guy. This should be enough to finish you off. And it was. Oh, I should have, okay. Well, he didn't attack us, but I should have expected that he would have done a move there. There we go, that's good enough. So this room, no. This room, maybe? Where's the exit at? I gotta get out of here. There it is. Okay, we're skedaddling. So, so far, these fours have already been quite the challenge. I see an enemy right down this way. If George doesn't mind, yeah, turn around and beat him up. So we could actually take this staircase out right now. Whoa, hey, we got this guy. What is his name? Super effective. It is a uh, pilo swine. Got some extra coins. It's not a ton, but how many coins do we have in total? 3,821. I can't wait until we finally can go back, if we can. I mean, I don't know, they seem pretty adamant in chasing us out. There we go, fur fainted, level up. Oh nice, we're level 31. But I really do hope that we get to go home to Pokemon Square at some point. Worry Seed. Let's read about Worry Seed. It's a grass type. Uh, it changes the target's ability to Insomnia. The effect wears off. Uh, when you go to the next floor. I don't think I need that. Oh, no, I, I wanna say yes to that. Yes to giving up on learning it. And we get uh, the pretty box. Thank you. So 
So, what is going on with all this? Yep, go ahead and get the Snorunt. And nothing going on in this room. I'm trying to find the exit as soon as we can. Here's some extra coins. It'll probably be in this room with a bunch of enemies. So, <laughs> let's get over there. But as soon as we get back, we can buy more camps. Hopefully we can also work on getting more Pokemon. That'd be cool. Because that was sort of my favorite thing so far in the game. Like, the whole game is fun, don't get me wrong. Oh no, this won't do very much. I oh, know it does super effective. Huh, weird. But one of my favorite things in the game so far is catching more Pokemon. It's been a lot of fun. So I, I really can't wait to get back to that. Because it's clear it's not gonna happen right now. Oh, there's another shop. There's an Azuril again. His Azuril evolves into Marill. Just trying to keep it all, keep it all tracked in my brain. There's so many Pokemon. Oh, whoa, I can't even see them. They're attacking from the shop. That's not very cool. I wasn't trying to attack the shopkeeper. I know. Hold on, one of your customers is attacking me. Don't you want to do something about that? I guess not. Well, we got a super effective move there. You're going down too, buddy. I'm just saying. Yeah, there we go. Good job, George. Soul move. Is there another one? Really? Wow. It's a very hostile store. I'm never shopping here again. He still wants us to come back, though. Uh, we'll grab that. This guy is sleeping, so we might as well take him out real fast. One more time. Nice. And that is an upgrade to Vine Whip. Very good to see that. Let's go on. Uh-oh. What is this? Someone has intruded upon the forest. The enfeebled flow of icy winds. Is the intrusion to blame? It must be stopped. For it is to protect the forest. What is that supposed to mean? I'm getting a little scared. So we picked up a slumber wand there. Yeah, this, I guess they don't like the disruption of the forest we're providing here. Let's definitely get our moves upgraded like that. And see if we can't run into more enemies. There's the exit already, so once we're tired of doing this, we could just leave. Oh no, ow, why? We became paralyzed, very bad. Cherry berry, yeah, sure. No, I, I was wanting to say yes. Okay, well, it'll, it'll... oh, he went back to sleep. <laughs> okay. It should wear off eventually. If not, there is a little tile up there that we can go to. Come on. Not bad. And what about down here? Aha! Well, okay, we healed from it. Will that double up? It's already trained, so no. Whoa, look at this, we got a golden... No, it was a ditto? Whoa! That's a double wall right there. I didn't think we could find a golden thing like that. Maybe we can't, but we ran into a ditto for the first time. So here's something to find in this game. That might be a bit of a difficult thing to do. <laughs> it's a shame I couldn't have done it right then and there. It's still really cool to see that, that was funny. Oh, it was another ditto, so he's just all over the place now. Oh, he's transforming into me. That made uh, George confused. I can see why. Well, we got him. So let's head back this way, we're just gonna leave now. If we can manage. Yep, just like that, and see ya. Hey, I'm trying to go somewhere. Yeah, I'd like to go on. You can follow me at the stairs if you want. Okay, so you're going for the nose pass. I'm trying to get into a good position. He's resting up. Oh, that's bad. There we go. That's enough to take him down to. Okay, so let's go to where the items are first. Hopefully, there'll be the staircase. There's not, but maybe it's nearby. Not in this room. Hello. Oh, get him again, get him again. Somebody please, thank you. Okay, so we'll just get this one seed real quick. It's another ditto. The deeper you go, the more foolish you'll get with that. I mean, I guess he's not foolish, he's fooling us. So now we're on the eighth floor. I'm a bit worried, ooh, I don't know if I know this Pokemon. Is this the evolution of uh, Puchiana? I don't know. Wow, he's huge. Mighty Anna. So I guess I don't know if I've ever seen Mighty Anna before. Very interesting. There we go. Gotcha. 
I definitely need to get, uh, really? That's not good. I need to get some food in us soon because our hunger's getting lower and lower. Oh, your water pulse upgraded. Come on. Oh, he is really hurting us with this. There we go. See a nose pass. Get a little link box. I need to sell some of those eventually. That'd be good. And hopefully we can find the way out of here soon. Hmm. Not too much going on down this way. Man, those that staircase can be anywhere right now. Oh no. Oh, is he gonna attack me? Nope, he actually did harden. And there we go. Uh, okay, he kept walking actually. Where in the world is the staircase? Oh, here's a move training thing. Wish we ran into that first. Oh, now you're in trouble. Very good. Why is it sparkling over here? Is that a uh, sparkling four protein? Nice. Ow, that was not good. Okay, that just leads back this way. So it has to be in one of these two rooms. Oh, here it is. Gotcha, help me out. Very good. So you grab that for me, thank you. And let's keep going. Nine F, we're still climbing. So we'll get you with the seed bomb, super effective. Super effective, ooh, dropping a pretty box. So which way do I wanna go? I'm going to try with this one. This nose passes. this, oh, he was sleeping. Then we woke him up. Oh, he's going back to sleep. Hit him with the razor leaf. Very good. Two of them now. I'll take out one, you take out the other, all right? Wow, the double up. Very good. One hit takedown for him there too. Lots of nose passes. Luckily, they're quite easy for us at this point. He's resting. That'll take him down, right? Indeed it will. What about in this room? Get that apple. Hmm, well, what was that? The gust trap didn't work, thank goodness. There it is. Oh, well, as per usual, we find these a little too late, but at the most, or at the least, I can still make the most of it here against this guy before we leave. So, I would like to go on. Oh, what's happening? It's, it's giving me the chance to organize my inventory. That's never, I mean, that is a good thing, but it's never a good sign, you know? Uh. So we'll do that. I don't need more than three max ethers. I don't need more than three orange berries. Eating it makes you attack one tile in front of you with a blast, causing huge damage. You can also throw it to use it, but the power is weaker. We have a lot of these. I wonder if I'm supposed to use these against what we're about to go against. Hmm, I'll put this away for now. Okay. So there we go. Are we fighting somebody? Would you like to go on? I guess so. Heart of the Frosty Forest. And we still have more to survive here. Pick up one of those link boxes. Oh, it's a Rhyhorn. This might not do so well. No, it's super effective. Never mind. It did really well. Oh, wow. So we're getting a lot of steel types now. This is what? Metagross? Metang, who I think evolves into Metagross. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like that. He's following me. That wasn't very effective, that. So I don't know. Are we not effective against steel or what? Let's try this Matang. Not very effective. There we go. I think the poison is totally ineffective against steel, from what I remember. Anyways, I, we don't have to adventure on too much if we don't want to, because keep in mind, we spawned next to the staircase. What about you? Uh. So that was a uh, Layron. The Rhyhorn is weak to us, I guess because, maybe is he steel ground? Is ground weak to grass? Level 26 for George though, not too bad. Oh boy, come on. Can I attack from here? I don't know if that would've, that would've been diagonal, I just didn't get the chance. I think we're good to leave. <laughs> Heart of the Frosty Forest, 11F. Things are just getting more and more intense and difficult. Let's go down this way. Just going to follow where the items are. Oh, come on. Ready? Got him. It's not very effective, I just gotta keep at it. The double, very lucky timing for that. So the staircase is not this way. 
but maybe it's around. <laughs> okay, I went the long way around. So those are not rooms, those are, those are just hallways. Same thing with all this. Really, there's not very many rooms around here. I mean, this whole place is huge. It keeps going and going, but here we go. Oh, critical hit. Nice job. They're doing Magnet Rise, Razor Leaf. Very good with the critical. I'd really just not even want to deal with him, but you got the critical on him, so maybe it's just worth it just to go like this. Very nice. So, next up, what do we got? 12F. How many floors do we have to climb? So, Rhyhorn should be pretty easy. Yeah, even George was able to one hit him. Uh, aha, here's the staircase. Let me just grab these two items real fast and we will keep moving. Yep, I'd like to go on. So there's another shop. I'm very doubtful it'll have anything that I need because it hasn't really ever. It's a huge shop though. Plenty of room for enemies to fight us. Can I get you from here? You bet I can, 64 damage. Hit him again. So I don't think I need any of these, but you dropped <laughs> the deluxe box. Surprised the Kecleon wasn't like, hey, if it drops in the store, it's mine. <laughs> My property. So we're gonna get out this way. Excuse me. And oh, here's the way out. So at this rate, all I need is to grab a bunch of items over this way, because why wouldn't I? Oh no, it's a ditto. But it's also, oh no, very confusing. Oh no, because it's two Psyducks. You got him though, good job, buddy. I don't know if we'll need this orange berry, but I might as well grab it. And now we're leaving. Don't care who is chasing us, they won't chase us up this way. Oh, here we go again, something's happening. Oh boy. We've come pretty far into the forest. I think we'll be out of this if we can get through this part. It shouldn't be long, hang in there. Uh-oh. Huh? Zebra, did you just say something? Oh, I'm always saying something. <laughs> I didn't think so. A voice? I must have imagined it. I don't think you did. Turn back. You may not pass. Uh-oh. Who's there? You are forbidden to pass. If you persist in trying to pass, then so be it but only after you have defeated me. Oh no. Oh, it's too bright. The ice around us is reflecting this light. That's a problem. Oh no, it's time for round three against the legendary birds. This time, the ice bird Articuno. Wow, so cool looking. I am Articuno, the warder of ice. Those that enter the forest I shall destroy with all of my might. Let us begin. Wow, no dilly-dallying with him. So we're getting into it. I honestly sort of want to try. If we go to our toolbox, we have those, um, let's organize everything. The blast seed. Eating it makes you attack one tile in front. Okay, eat it, sure. So let's see how that works. So when am I going to do that attack? I guess it didn't really work. Um, well, I don't know, weird. Okay, well we'll just sort of do what we can. Oh, they're doing mist? Yeah, I don't have like any kind of typing advantage against them. George did last time, you know? Not as much this time. I don't think either of us really particularly, Oh, nice! You, you, you surprised him there or you made him confused. Because neither of us have any kind of super effective, ouch! He's gonna have to use a seed on me. Uh, let's use the tiny reviver seed for right now. We'll use the reviver seed after that. Keep at him for right now. Keep poisoning him. Keep, keep hitting him with the water gun. And hopefully we can just keep stacking damage. We need to sort of brute force this one, unfortunately. Oh boy. Ow. Okay, oh, George is taken out. Uh, we'll use the reviver seed. Is that all we had, though? Because now I'm a bit worried. Um, maybe I should heal up. Okay, uh, Icy Wind again, no! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, it's just up to George now, oh my gosh, I thought I had more. I guess I really should've gotten more out of my inventory. Jeez, this is our first time struggling. 
Okay, um, I think he can take one more hit. Let's hope that's enough. Oh, okay, you missed that. Very good, very good. Water gun again. Oh my gosh, we did it! Go, George! <laughs> yeah! Playing it a little risky that time, but we got him. Articuno taken down. Please, Articuno! We have to keep moving, we have to get through this. Please let us pass. No, I cannot allow your passage. Why? Why can't we pass? The frigid forest stare. It has warmed considerably in recent times. W warmed? I'm still freezing, but... The flow of frigid air has been disturbed in the forest. Snow has started to melt. Snow is melting. Snow that has never melted before. This has never happened, even once. Then you appeared in the forest. Is this not your doing? We don't have anything to do with that, it's a coincidence. Hey, Articuno, you have to listen. It's not our fault that the snow is melting here. It's not just here. Natural disasters are happening all over the place. Even if we hadn't come, the frigid air here would have been disturbed. Is that all? You expect me to believe that? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah! Enough of your foolish talk. Prepare for your end. Stop it! Whoa, who is it? Whoa! I forget his name. Absol? Coming in to save us, we saw him earlier. Uh, Absol. There's nothing false in what they said. Calamities are indeed occurring in nature everywhere. Is that true? Yes. I have the ability to sense natural disasters. The calamities taking place now are of a special nature. I've never experienced such before. S so there are calamities besides this. Fine. I will choose to believe you. You may pass. Articuno! However! What? You must try to prevent the calamities from spreading. I'm counting on you. Yep, we promise, Articuno. We'll do everything we can. So he's out of here. Whew, that was too close. Thank you, you saved us. Rather than saying thanks, focus on stopping the calamities before they worsen. If they are left unchecked, worse will befall us. My instincts warn me so. Uh, I sensed that the terrible power of the natural calamities. I was led here by my feelings of foreboding. I think it would be best if we combined forces. Oh boy, I would love to. I will join you. Huh? You will, really? Really? To put an end to the calamities, cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. <laughs> Thank you, Absol. You can now access the Darkness Ridge Camp and Absol joined your team, level 28. We're already higher level than he is. Whoa, it has the rare quality squeeze out. Very cool. George successfully made it through, <laughs> just George, not me. <laughs> Contents, rainbow gummy. And we also got another rainbow gummy and a bronze dojo ticket we can't use right now and another rainbow gummy and a DX gummy. Tons of cool stuff we can eventually use, but not now. And so, after getting through the frosty forest, Zebra's team headed farther north. The more they advanced, the harsher the conditions became. Oh man, this icy mountain path seems to go on forever. We've walked a long way here. George looks exhausted too. We've been running all this time out of desperation. What's in store for us ahead? Are we really doing the right thing? Uh, it's too cold. There's only snow around us now. The scenery hasn't changed at all for a while now. Are we even getting anywhere? Hey, Zebra, you know what I'm thinking? I think we finally reached a place where there's no one else but us. I also have this feeling there's nothing ahead of us here. And I'm feeling pretty beat. We too, what's gonna happen to us? Don't worry, we'll be fine. Yeah, you're right. We came out here. There's no point wondering about it. Sorry, Zebra. I got the got to feeling sorry for myself. 
Zebra, I came out here because I believed in you. And that's not changing. I'll keep believing in you, Zebra. Thank you. I'll go wherever you go. Yeah. George, trust me without any doubt. I can't afford to be indecisive. I have to believe in myself more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What was that? D Dizzy? What? Huh? What's the matter? Zebra? Oh boy. Finally. Finally, you've arrived. Someone? Someone is talking to me. George? No. This voice isn't George. This voice. I've heard it somewhere. Oh my gosh, there she is! Finally. You have arrived. Can either of them see her? I guess not. I've been waiting for you. G Gardevoir! I'm so glad. Finally, we get to meet. You're... What? <laughs> they have no clue what's going on. Hey, Zebra, what's up with you? Talking to yourself like that. I cannot be seen by others. I am visible only to you. A little farther ahead, there's a jagged mountain range topped by Mount Freeze. On its peak, Ninetales lives. Ninetales? Ninetales awaits your arrival. But where? Uh, wait! Hey, Zebra, come on, Zebra! What were you doing? What just happened to you? I don't know, we just we got to see Gardevoir. Okay, so that's what happened. Gardevoir appeared to you, so that's why you were looking so stunned. But wow, Ninetales isn't just a legend, it really exists. And that Ninetales is at the peak way up there. <laughs> Zebra, all oh, the effort we put into getting here is finally going to pay off. We'll beat Ninetales and get the truth. We'll finally clear your reputation, Zebra. That'll be great. Hey, Zebra, you don't need to look so worried. It'll be okay. Zebra, I can understand how it'd be scary for you to meet Ninetales, the heartless human who abandoned Gardevoir, how that might be you. I bet you're scared, thinking that. But that's impossible. You're not the human or the zebra, I, I'm sure. Uh, how can you say that? Or you believe so much in me? <laughs> well, there was a time when I had some doubts, but now, I wonder why. I really don't know why. But it doesn't matter now. Zebra, you're a really good sort. Oh, thank you. You know, before, when I first got the idea to start this rescue team, I met you in the tiny woods, Zebra. Now that I think about it, there was something different about you. Just a feeling. This, this is kind of weird, isn't it? But I believe in you, Zebra. Anyway, we'll know the truth when we get to the peak. Zebra, let's give it our best. So we'll be climbing the peak of Mount Freeze and hopefully meeting Ninetales in the next episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.